There is still a long way to go in this great race. We have an enormous traffic jam. We've had a horrendous crash at the top of the mountain. By the look of it, Bobby Morrison, number seven, is around sideways. 57 is there, one of the recar team cars. Block we stopped. have an absolute block oh, okay. track at the top of the mountain. Damage at all. There's the view from Alan Grice's car. He's there, car 44. He's just stopped. He's not in damage, but there are a number of cars. Bob Morris's car is there. Bob Morris going so hard trying to get up the lead in second place. The track is completely blocked. A replay of it for you. Well, Christine Cole is involved. She was very early there. You can see Christine on the left. Bob Morris came along. He spun there, the car going backwards. Christine was involved first with another car. There are cars on the other side. Alan Brown. The track is completely blocked. We have Alan Grice in car 44 talking there. How are you, mate? How's your leg, all right? Huh? How's your leg? I think I broke something in the hip. KB's okay. He said he's, um, he's bruised his hip on the uh, hip brace in his car. Can he's, you? Uh, he's okay. It doesn't appear to me as though anybody else is uh, damaged. When I arrived on the, on the scene, um, there wasn't a great deal of activity trying to get people out of motor cars, so I can only assume that they've all, uh, they've all safely got out. With the decision on the fate of the race from the Australian Racing Drivers Club, Ivan Stivard. And the regulations say that after 60% of the distance has been covered and the red flag is used, the race must be declared. We cannot have a restart. Well, that means that Dick Johnson is the winner under those conditions? Yes, he has. <laughs>